Uh, my name is Cameron and I play in many different musical projects, primarily a musician. I've lived in the Northern Rivers for about five or six years straight uh, and then I lived here for three years when I was 18. It was a very different experience living here back then and living here now and in the interim I lived in Sydney for quite a, a chunk of time. Originally I came to the Northern Rivers for a multitude of personal reasons. Uh, the main motivator was to get out of the city. Um, quality of life there was not great. It's draining. I already knew this area. I didn't have a great uh, relationship with the Northern Rivers when I left, but my change of personality allowed me to see the area in a very different way. My values changed and this place provides people with something particular and I was looking for that and that's why I came here. For me, my main creative outlet is sound in all its forms, really. I choose to play under different monikers and different band names because I like to have a very defined um, output creatively. I have a name for a particular project because I like to know where I'm going for that. So if I want to outlay something very chaotic and noise-like, then I'll write specifically for that. I don't really like to combine all of my projects. Sound and music is a way for me to discover myself. Really, my creative medium is a psychological exploration and music and sound resonate with me uh, in a big way. What motivates me directly are the experiences of life, really. It's sound and music in particular is a way that I can transmit in experiences that I've had and perhaps share those with other people that have experienced them before or perhaps even allow them a space to experience them for the first time and I think that that's tremendously profound in a day and age where we are constantly being externalised with our personality and our search for happiness. It's very important that we have a space where we are able to go inwards and explore ourselves more and more and so for me that's what I try to do. Initially my biggest challenge was really to find a, like a creative collective of people who shared a similar aesthetic, who shared a similar direction with their creative output. There were a lot of people around here cre creating music, creating art, um, film. However, I started just by doing everything on my own because that's all I had and then slowly over time I began to find other people who were resonating with what I was doing and I was resonating with what they were doing and we were able to collaborate on really some amazing things and I'm very grateful that I had those connections. In the city or in places with a larger population it's obviously more likely that you will connect with people of a like mind and the collectives that they have there seem to have an energy that propels itself further into the future than in a regional town where things can fizzle out quite quickly. I don't make any money from my art but I may play a show and I'll earn some type of money from that. I'll get paid a small sum of money however the amount of money it costs to play, the amount of money it costs to travel, the amount of money it costs to have a setup far outweighs the amount of money that I receive from anything that I do. I found the, the best way to go about that is to actually work with people in different creative disciplines and to have a type of um, relationship with them of payment of service. If a filmmaker needs music I'll work with that but then if I need a film for something I'll work with that and that's how you develop a creative community. Initially I got a job a full-time paying job to help fund what I wanted to do. My day job is a school teacher. That wasn't just something that I did just for the money. I like to teach young people. I like to explore the labyrinth of different minds and understand how to um, deliver knowledge to people and that's an amazing job to do that. Yeah, it takes a, a, a lot of time away from my creative practice. It's a tiring job, but it does allow me to, to have the money to keep doing what it is that I love to do. The idea of an audience when playing is, is a really interesting thing and I love to talk to musicians about what their relationship with an audience or a crowd is. I didn't notice much of a difference living in the city to being up here. The one difference I will say in regional areas with the crowd is that the people that come um, have a greater passion because they know how rare it is to have an experience like this in a regional area and the people who come and watch that know that it's a great community event and so they bring something really special to that and that's something that I've, I've noticed personally. I found initially that being an artist in a regional 
town and a regional community was a real setback for me in terms of opportunity. Things did take off after some time. I come from back in the day when I first started to do music. The internet was not really a thing. You had to make a whole bunch of CDs and send the demos off to record labels, to radio stations. You'd have to hand deliver them to other bands to get support slots. And that's how it used to be. And after some time of understanding about how that world had changed when I stepped back into the music world, that disappointment of being in a regional town really started to disappear. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons to living in a regional area and also how the internet has changed a lot of things. So currently, I'm very happy with where I am in the regional area. You have to be prepared to drive around a lot and there are a lot of late nights, a lot of grueling hours to do that, but at the end of the day, it's what I love to do. I've never really had a difficult time in finding inspiration for any of the work that I do. I know for myself that that inspiration comes inside of me from my own personal experience with things. And I have to find a way to try to communicate those things which, which lie sometimes very deep down. The main rewards of living in a rural community or a regional community and being a musician would have to be the connections that I have made in my creative endeavours. I am tremendously inspired by the people around me and what fuels them. I feel like there is this type of camaraderie amongst them that everybody is doing their thing. Regardless of if they become successful or if they make money or whatever those things even mean, the fact that they are pursuing them because of their love and their passion is something that is tremendously inspiring to me and I'm very grateful to know those people. The performance is a way for me to facilitate a space for the music to take centre stage. And what I try to do personally is to remove Cameron, to remove myself from that performance to allow that music to be. And I'm not talking in that stereotype way that I'm a conduit for the music or anything like that. The music is me. I'm doing the music on stage or if I'm on a band, it's the, the three of us. If I'm going to be vulnerable, then I have to do that 100%. I can't take one step in and pull back because then that's not an honest, authentic performance. People have a fairly good barometer for dishonesty. You can tell if the person on stage is really believing in what they're doing or if they're not. Perhaps I may not like the music that that person is doing, but if they are doing it honestly and in, and inherent to who they are, then, then I will pay attention to that and I hope that I can achieve that in what I do as well.